Hello and welcome to Cat Resource. This series is called the Quick Start Guide. In this series, we will be talking about three basic features of SolidWorks. The first is 3D part modeling, second assembly, the third being the drawing mode. So let's get started. We have opened SolidWorks over here. In order to start a part drawing, you can simply choose the home button or the new tab over here. I'm going to choose the home button by simply clicking on it. Now the option from part assembly and drawing, I'm going to choose the part. This is the SOLIDWORKS 3D modeling environment. In SOLIDWORKS, if you are going to draw anything, you need to draw it on a plane or a face. We have the planes over here on the left hand side, front, top and the right plane. On top, we have these tabs, feature, sketch and evaluate. You can modify the tabs and add more add-ons depending upon your needs. I will simply show you an example of adding a new add-on. Right click, go to tabs. If you want to add sheet metal, you can simply click on sheet metal and it will be added to your toolbar. Now without wasting any time, let's get started with the sketch. In order to do that, click on the sketch toolbar and select the sketch tool. SOLIDWORKS knows that in order to draw something, you need to draw it on a plane. So it is automatically asking you to sketch a plane from the fundamental three planes. I like to choose my planes logically. For example, if you are going to draw something on the floor, you might choose the top plane. If you want to draw something that might be hanging on a wall somewhere, you might choose the front or the right plane. Now to simply start sketch, choose the plane and it will orientate itself normal to you. We are going to choose top plane by simply left clicking on it. This is the sketch environment. I know we haven't talked about all of these tools in details but these are pretty similar to all other graphic softwares. In order to start our sketch we will simply choose the line tool by left clicking on it. To start a line, just click anywhere on those and click on the second point to complete your line. You can continue building your lines by simply clicking left mouse button. In order to complete a sketch in SOLIDWORKS, you have to close the entity. Notice that as soon as you close the entity, Notice, as soon as you close your identity, it turns itself into a shaded closed shape. To exit the line tool, simply press escape. You can modify all of these points by simply clicking on any one of them with left mouse button. and drag your mouse by holding down the left mouse button. You can also change the dimension or mirror any of these dimensions by the help of smart dimension tool over here. Just click on the line that you want to dimension. It will show you the dimension over here. You can also change the position of the dimension by simply moving your mouse. 
I will be keeping it here. It asks you whether you want to modify your dimension before finalizing it. I would like to I would like to make it 140 mm. You can also measure by choosing two points. Left click on this point and then click on this. This will give you the dimension between these two points. Ok. Press escape to exit the dimensioning tool. Now, it, now in order to create a solid shape from this sketch, now in order to create a solid 3D part from this sketch, click on the features tab over here and it will take you into the feature environment. The first step will be creating an extrude ball space. In order to do that, simply click on the extrude ball space button. Notice that it realigns itself and shows you this arrow. Simply click and drag with your left mouse button and it turns into a 3D solid shape. You can also give it a height. I will give it a height of 70 and press OK. This has turned into a solid. We can also modify this solid or draw something on this. In order to draw new features on this solid, simply click on the face and a menu pops up. Click on sketch. Now we will be adding some circles. You can add them anywhere, it doesn't matter. Click OK. Go to features toolbar again. Now we want to extrude these new sketches. We will do it again by simply clicking on extrude boss base button. Notice that we have the arrow again. Simply move it up and down. I will give them a height of 50 millimeters and press it. You can see the history of your progress or hide any of these features by simply moving this bar. Notice that it has hidden all of Notice that it has hidden all of our features. If you want to see boss extrude one, drag it down over here. And if you want to see the complete part, you can do that by simply dragging it down further. You can also edit the sketch the extrude was based on by simply clicking edit sketch. You can move this point. Press button and go to the features bar. The cylinders haven't changed because we have done nothing to them we just modified the sketch of the base structure you can also modify these by right clicking edit feature you can change the height just like this if you want to delete something you can simply do that by selecting the feature and press the delete 
key on the keyboard. Notice that it has deleted the feature but not the sketch. You can choose this sketch to draw something new. Now we are choosing this sketch to add a new feature to it. Click on features. The sketch is selected. Now we will be using the extruded cut. Notice that the arrow is downward this time. Press OK. It has created three basic holes. So, now to simply recap, in order to draw something, you choose a plane or a feature and draw your sketch. The sketch generally needs to be a closed feature. After drawing a sketch, you go into the feature and press the extrude boss face button and this will turn your sketch into your first 3D art. I'll see you again in the next video. Take care.